Hey there, I'm Ma, I'm an artist from Brazil, now living in Portugal, and today I want to show you a little behind the scenes of my Inktober project. Don't know what is Inktober? Fear not, we are going to see what it's all about in a second. According to the official Inktober website, it was created by Jake Parker, quote, in 2009 as a challenge to improve his inking skills and develop positive drawing habits. It has since grown into a worldwide endeavor, with thousands of artists taking on the challenge every year." End of the quote. And since then, this challenge grew bigger and bigger, and today is well known for artists and enthusiasts all over the world. Since this success, Jake Parker always offers a prompt list with themes to help out artists to produce their drawings. Although the original challenge was conceived to exercise inking skills, Nowadays, artists take their own approach to it. You can change the themes and the media to whatever you want to exercise, explore and create. Inktober started as an inking challenge, and it is still the goal of many artists. But what really stuck was this idea of creating a habit of drawing every day for a month. So now artists usually choose a theme, a skill, something they want to create this habit of practicing every day for a month and transform this into a challenge and then they share the results on Instagram. Usually you post every day. <laughs> I have a friend that is making short animated loops for the second year, which is amazing. Another that is painting animals up to adoption, which is really cute and heartwarming. And I really hope this helped the animals to get a new home. And another one that is just drawing whatever she wants, just to have this habit of drawing something for her in the middle of an intense work schedule. Amazing, right? This is the opportunity of creating growth and a daily habit, which is always a goal to perceive as an artist, because the more you practice, the better you get. The project I'm developing this year is a deck of playing cards. Why? I don't know, I thought it would be nice and fun, but a lot of work as well. Knowing that a deck can have around 54 cards, I'm going to make this challenge in two months, October and November. In this video, I'm sharing with you the first suit I have worked on for the first 13 days of this challenge. I decided to start with the black suits because I could use more ink and be more Inktoberish. <laughs> Furthermore, I have decided to use a season and an animal for each suit. So to start, the chosen ones were winter and wolf for spades. For the ace, valets, queens and kings, I wanted to work in some illustrations a little more elaborate around the animal. And for the regular cards, some objects portraying the number it was supposed to be and exploring some textures, colors and perspectives. So for these drawings, I did always the same process. I drew a little sketch with pencil, but not worrying so much about it. I like to give space for creativity when I'm inking. Maybe it's not the best process because sometimes things get a little weird, um, I should have thought about them better before, but that's the way I do it. <laughs> After that, I do some inking, not everything, but at least the minimum to see all the shapes and figures before I erase. And in this case, I do need to erase because then I will add color with color pencils. And if I don't take off the pencil marks, it's going to be super messy with the color pencils and I don't want this result. As I was still interested in doing more inking, because this is in fact an Inktober project, 
the main goal of the illustrations is the inking, so black and white, and just add some hint of color, just to give a suggestion. And actually the drawings I like the most are the ones that I use less colors, just one or two tones, it's super nice. As this suit is about winter, I try to find themes up around it. Some days it was hard to remember of something, but most of them I could figure something out at least some minutes before doing. So common themes were snow, cold and coziness. This last one is my favorite because I do really enjoy winter and have all these cozy moments of drinking tea, coffee, hot chocolate, watching some movies, eating a popcorn, being cozy with a, your beloved one, or just enjoying the fire, and especially sleeping under heavy blankets. Oh, I love this one. Every number card has a representation of the number in objects. So please let me know if you could find out which objects are represented, which numbers in each card. <laughs> Some are really obvious uh, and others not that much. And watching my process through these 13 drawings, it's noticeable that some compositions are great, other not so much. There are some interesting perspectives alongside with ordinary ones, some interesting uses of colors, other pretty literal. But the overall feeling is a nice one of study, experimentation and a little bit of growth. And I think that's what this challenge is all about. Although there are amazing artists who create unimaginable wonders through this challenge, which I have no idea how they can achieve in such a short period of time, I think the focus should be creating simple drawings to build this habit of consistent practice or to explore something you can improve. This should take the pressure off of making stupendous compositions every day to post on social media. If you want, you can, and it doesn't destroy you physically and mentally. Awesome! But if you, as I was, are for any reason struggling to draw consistently, lacking motivation, feeling stuck in your projects, this can be an awesome tool to develop your work if taken smoothly. And this is great! Let's take advantage of the tools we have to become better artists. And this is it for today, guys. I hope this video showed a little bit of the process of drawing every day and shed some light about how to go through this often perceived as fearful project as Inktober is all about. Please leave a like if this video was helpful or interesting and, I don't know, entertaining. <laughs> and subscribe to get more art content. See you next time! Bye bye!